hope when you take that jump, you don't fear the fall. First time I met her was the ultimate coincidence. It was on St. Patrick's Day, I was hanging out with a group of my buddies. Ended up going to a random bar called The Grid. Our groups kind of started talking, and then I had some stupid glasses on that one of the eyeballs had been popped out. I remember like kind of like poking fun at her because of her glasses. Um, and just from the start, it was a very easy conversation. Stay. But our first date wasn't until a while after St. Patrick's Day, and I know we went out to dinner. Roz got me tickets to Aziz and Zari doing stand-up for my uh, first date, and we went and had dinner at the Dawson first. And I remember putting like jeans and a top on, like a normal like going to dinner on a weeknight outfit. And I remember I got in the car, and I'm pretty sure the first thing he said to me was, you're wearing jeans? I think I was sick or in a bad mood or something, but. She said I was well, actually pretty rude. David's blunt. I learned that very early on, but in a sincere and kind way. Someone said at one point, like, don't find someone you know you love going out with. Some, we'll find someone you love like lying on the couch watching Netflix with. And it's like that. She's just such a enjoyable kind of real bouncy personality, outgoing. Kind of some some of the things I I wish I had, you know, that, but that make me feel you know, comfortable, relaxed, you know, just enjoy spending time with her. I love most about David is his patience and his genuine kindness. He approaches everything very calmly. He doesn't get overly worked up about anything. And he treats me and everyone he surrounds himself with with such respect and just genuine love is something that I really, truly appreciate and love about David. You always hear people ask, like, how did you know, how'd you know you want to marry your wife? And they're like, oh, I, I just knew. And it was always like, I'd hear that, it was like the ultimate eye roll. It was like, oh yeah, okay, sure, you know. And then it happened to me like, about six months after we started dating, it's like, oh, now I get it, you know. Our connection and how we respect each other and really can kind of work through anything. And just we have so much fun together too. So I think he was the first guy I met that I was like, wow, if this is the rest of my life, I will be really happy about that. I knew I was gonna propose long before I actually did. I uh, asked her dad, you know, he like grabbed my leg and was all super happy and uh, just thought that was pretty funny. Then I had to kind of go through the process of like getting the ring and so calling her cousin's grandfather who I had never met and saying, hey, uh, you know, I would like to propose to Rosalind, can you help me with the ring? I didn't really know how I wanted to do it. Neither one of us are both public, like, you know, big show type of people. And I knew I basically had to incorporate Larry somehow. That day, I had actually had one of my bridesmaids wedding shower. So I mean my head was like, David texted me while I was there like, when are you coming home? You know, we should go to dinner. I came home and I was like, I had no intentions of like doing anything. So I went and got a, a donut collar. He's like, do you look at the tag? I got the tag and then on the tag it said, will you marry dad? I mean I was obviously like excited. I was like, is this really happening? But you do have a moment of like, is this really happening? And I honestly feel like you just kind of like, your mind goes to a different place. <laughs> I have to imagine David's did too. I have no idea what I actually said. And I don't even know if she said yes. She just kind of grabbed the ring and just put it on and just started like jumping around. wedding day, part that I'm like really excited about right now is all the people that will be in one place, you know, to celebrate us. I think that's such a cool thing and you realize how many people love and support you. It's a good way to kind of get people who have, you know, played a big, big role in their life at some point or another back together um, yeah. and get them to all meet each other and some new friends and I think that'll be kind of fun getting everybody together. He's had the best of all our days Woo He's had the best of our days Woo At the end of the day, it's 
celebrating your marriage and your life together, you know, make sure that you can find the time to soak it in. And it'll be funny you try to watch our families intermingle. Yeah. That'll be uh, some good people watching. <laughs> They're all gonna see this, so. Okay. Don't let it be out. <laughs> Sweet as the sunshine Starting up the day Who's going to dance the most at the wedding? That's the easiest question we've had all day. I, I will be dancing. <laughs> easiest question all day. It'll be Roz. <laughs> the first wedding we were ever, or I was ever at without Roz was this two weekends ago in Amsterdam. It's the most I've ever danced in my life. So. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Well, we'll see. But I think I will win the dancing at the wedding battle. Who will cry first? I think this is pretty easy. Also, I think it'll be. I will. I'll probably cry first. I think my dad might be both of us, though. These are the best of all our days These are the best of our days These are the best of all our days So let's spend a little time together